Now let's say you guys are having problems and you can't copy some files because they're pretty big. That's basically because of the format of your USB stick. Now to check out the format of your USB, USB stick, or maybe you're not even seeing it right here on your finder, which is a problem, um, all you have to do is open up Disk Utility. Now if you can't find Disk Utility down there, don't worry, just go into up here, click, okay? And then just click on the search for you, uh, Disk Utility. So just type in this Disk Utility, open it up, Okay, so there's my disk utility. Now up here on my disk utility, we will see some options. I'm gonna zoom in on it so you guys can see a little bit better. Okay, um, so here we see our Mac. Now what we want is this USB flash drive, okay? So just click on it, Now you can click on this part of it. This is kind of a partition of it, but not really. Anyways, um, here you can see what it is okay if it's formatted for Mac for PC what how it's formatted so just click on erase now the initial format of this is MS-DOS FAT which I never recommend actually formatting as that I, al I always always recommend formatting as XFAT now what happens when you format when you erase it actually literally does that it erases all your content in your USB stick and then you can't get it back so make sure if you're gonna format it at this point um, to get your stuff out of there okay or if you don't care what stuff is in there then you can just go ahead and format it now like I said, if you want this to work for both um, Mac and PC computers, any Windows computer, then you want to format as XFAT. Okay. Now, if you just wanted to work with Macs, then you can just format as this, the first option. Okay. I recommend the first option, just because it's the easiest one. Um, it's 100% compatible, and you won't have any problems with it with transferring any files. Now, if you format as XFAT or MS-DOS FAT, which don't do MS-DOS FAT, um, which um, XFAT, then you might have problems later on transferring files. They might get lost. They might. Okay, I'm not saying they will, but they might. So it's not that secure. The most secure one that I found myself has been this journal. If you format as journal, it's nice and secure, but it's only gonna work for Mac. Okay. Um, now, if you see MS DOS FAT right now on your right here USB stick, that means you can't transfer files bigger than four gigs. So if you're trying to transfer a video that weighs, you know, one point, I mean, four point one gigs then you can't it won't let you even five gigs and up it won't let you okay so that's why i don't recommend formatting as ms-dos fat although ms-dos fat will be compatible with so many things such as linux um you will have that problem of transferring big files so that's why i don't recommend doing that anyways once you select your let's say ms-dos fat or x fat x fat just click on erase and it's gonna format it's gonna be nice and clean and there you have your night your good format then you will be able to transfer any huge files that you want to transfer for now we're just gonna leave this we're not even gonna do that I just taught you guys remember to press erase and then you're all done um, you can also do partitions on it okay so this is 64 gig I could do half for Mac half for PC that's another way to go um, I wouldn't actually recommend this for a USB stick because they're small I mean you don't really need that but you could um, so for now we're just gonna close that up and I'm gonna teach you the last way of copying and paste which is basically with your keyboard okay so on your keyboard you're just gonna press command C so let's say I want to copy this again I'm, I can just press command C on my keyboard and then go to my USB stick and press command V the letter V and it's gonna copy and paste that into here. So since I already have that um, folder in there, it's gonna ask me if I want to replace, so I'll put replace, doesn't matter. And there's my folder, okay? So that's how you can copy and paste stuff onto your USB stick. If you guys are having any problems, questions, you can write them here below in my comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate, thank you.